I'm a getting up be so Girl, you don't capture my soul I'm a getting up be so Make me run, 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 run Peru, para Peru, don't need para I'm alone how are you guys doing so in this video i'm going to be taking you guys along with me for the installation of my knotless braids currently my hairstylist is downstairs she is prepping the hair and i'm going to show you in this video now my hair is on four braids it's always a bad idea to braid your hair in its shrunken stage one because your hair is natural and it's shrunken so it means that it will be more painful for her to braid your hair because she's trying to like stretch it out sort through the knots and the split ends and it's just a mess and the second reason is that if you do your hair in a shrunken stage it has a chance to not last and i don't know about you but no matter how easy and how soft a stylish hand is my scalp is very painful so i don't want a situation where i would stay and spend five six seven hours braiding my hair and carry it for two weeks that's not me that's waste of my pain and waste of my resources so come along with me on this ride i am very sure that you will learn a thing or two about making knotless braids and i'm sure that you would enjoy this video so before we even go on please subscribe like share comment turn on your notification tell me what else you'd like to see because you'll have to admit this channel is hella lit let's jump right into the video guys so this is the expression i'm using this is color 30 and color 27 and the hairstylist is currently prepping the hair this is cutting too bad yeah, this is cutting too, so I'm excited. Sha. It looks light, but <laughs> my god, then typically I don't like them trimming my hair, well, yes. my natural she hair. Oh, she told you about me. I mean, she, she told, told for her own self, yeah. Yes, you also do natural and you don't like trimming your own hair. It's yes, okay. because if you trim it, that's I won't retain length. Yes. So that's typically it, Sha. And my scalp used to pay me, so don't be angry when I'm doing ouch, ouch. Because my, my scalp is very tender. Yeah, I think that's about it, Sha. The first step in making this knotless braids was to part my hair into boxes because I wanted that to be the shape. So she made sure that the boxes were clean and I gave her hair to fit in. Guys, this was the downside because I couldn't press my phone but I digress. Now in making the knotless braids, all she did was to start off by braiding my natural hair first. Then she proceeded to feed it in the braiding hair and using my natural hair to hide it. So if you would look closely, you'll find out that she's putting it underneath and then braiding it with my natural hair. But this technique is something that you need to really zoom in and really look at it because it's actually very technical. And the fact that she's adding the hair underneath does not mean that my natural hair is coming out. Like apart from the beginning side, she's adding it underneath but she's still using the braiding hair to hide my hair. So that during the trimming of the braiding hair, she doesn't cut my natural hair. If you have ever watched a Ghana weaving tutorial, not less braids is done with the exact same technique as a Ghana weaving. So the only difference I noticed is the fact that with Ghana weaving, you are weaving it to be a corn roll, but with not less braids, you are weaving it to be individual. That's just the difference. But the same technique of feeding in hair is the same applied to not less braids. In editing this video, I made sure to leave at normal pace the part where she was feeding in hair at the beginning of each braid. The reason I did this was because I know that the difficult part of doing knotless braids is really in figuring out the technique of attaching in the braiding hair little by little till you get the size that you want. So it's at normal pace and then the part where she just braids down, I speed it up a little bit this would happen a couple of times and i'm sure that by the time you've watched this over and over again you'll get a hang of it guys let's talk about my hairstylist service first of all she came to my house guys she came to my house and it was so comfortable because i didn't have to like move 
like to be very honest i hadn't even had my bath but i was able to get these braids done also her hand was not painful she was not trying to drag my skull even though it looks like it because my scalp looks really soft she wasn't trying to put in every single hair inside she was just being neat and meticulous as possible also the amount she collected for this service was just 5k guys i was so shook like i was so happy because i know that if i had done this in lagos nigeria it would have been more but because i did it in asaba it was more affordable this is the first time that i am doing knotless braids in my entire life so if you've done knotless braids before i'm very curious to know in the state where you live how much did it cost you to do your knotless braids for me it was five thousand as i have said and to get the braiding hair it was four thousand five hundred so in your state in your country how much did it cost you to make your knotless braids if you are a hairstylist watching this video are you shocked by the price how much would you charge now guys i know some of you might be curious especially those living in delta state nigeria curious as to how to get in contact with this girl so if you'd like to know the details you can follow me on instagram the name of my instagram page is on the screen and um send me a dm i'll definitely send you her number if you have enjoyed this video so far please ensure that you subscribe to this channel if you haven't like this video share comment down below what you would like to see from me guys these engagements really enable me to do what you want it really encourages me and it helps youtube to know that this video is truly valuable to you so i would truly appreciate that Guys, I may appear to be calm in this clip, but I already warned her that I was going to inspect every single hair that she trimmed and I was going to see if she cut off my hair, but she assured me that my hair was already hidden, so there was no way she would trim off my hair. It's curls time. So what she did was to attach the bendable rollers to the end of the braided part of the hair and then the remaining part, she just twirled it round till the end and then she secured it by bending the end of the bendable rollers. So she did this in sections till she was done. When she was done, she just put hot water because hot water is what would help the hair to curl.
we are drawing close to the finish line guys and i just thought to say that if you've enjoyed this video so far you would want to stick around to watch next week's own do you know why see i am no hairstylist but i managed to make my mom's hair from start to finish and guys i was so impressed with myself and she felt like it was so sweet and thoughtful so you would want to stick around to watch that video make sure you subscribe and you turn on your bell notification so that you'll be the first to watch it I'm getting up be so girl you don't capture my soul I'm getting up be so make we bomb ball on ball Peru para Peru don't it para I'm alone even Peru don't it para to not in Josie to not in Josie won't call it for one but one Josie not playing with you I'm not joking